Now back to the Ugandan story where police are under fire for arresting and locking up more than 100 people because of the protests arising from the arrests of five legislators. And joining me via Skype from New York now is Kiwanuka Lawrence and Sereko, a political activist from Uganda. Kiwanuka, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Africa 54. Thank you, Esther. Now, tell me, uh, you've been in touch with the family of uh, legislator Robert Changulani. What do you know? Because we hear conflicting reports about his physical well-being since the, the torture and the arrest. What can you tell us? I spoke to the family uh, this morning, which would be about eight hours ago, and uh, their concern is persist. Uh, Robert Chagulani, whom most people know as Bobby Wine, uh, is still incarcerated. Uh, he was allowed to briefly to see his personal doctor yesterday, but the report that came out, the report of the, the members of parliament who went in, the family members who were allowed to see him three days ago, is that he remains in a very bad shape. Uh, he has bruises all over his body. There is a likelihood that his uh, right hand femur bone is broken. Uh, his, his private parts were badly battered. And according to the family, he, he passes blood. His head has curvatures from being hit by a metal bar. And he cannot sit or walk on his own. Anyone who tells you otherwise uh -huh. would be telling you a big lie. And your sources are the family members. Now, Kiwanuka, given what you have yes. just told us, he is expected to appear in the, uh, uh, the court on Thursday. Uh, what are you hearing from his legal team? What are they preparing? Well, the legal team is uh, moving in a number of ways. Uh, they are trying to get into court to, first of all, challenge him being produced in a military court which the Uganda Constitution is very clear about. The military court are disciplinary tribunals for the serving members of the military service, the UPDF. There is even a case law that arises out of the 2005 case in which Kiza Besije, who was also badly battered, was being, uh, the government was attempting to try him in a military tribunal. And the constitutional court was very clear that no civilian can be tried in a military court. Now, Kiwanuka, uh, very, very briefly, yeah, yes. now you talked about the physical appearance of uh, Robert Changulani. Does his doctor yeah. say he should be treated first before he can appear in that court? What are they saying? And very briefly, do you, th does that physical, you know, uh, he, he, how he appears, uh, is he able really to even get to the court? He can't, he can't get to the court, but they will drag him in the court as they did in Igulu the first time they made him appear. Uh, this is a kangaroo court by all standards. He cannot stand on his own. So he cannot be under a normal situation produced in any court and until after he is in a healthy condition that allows him to speak to Lily. Because the family tells you that you ask him a question he, he has to inhale and struggle to speak back because there's injuries on his lip cage, and he finds it difficult to speak. Wow, Kiwanuka, we'll have to uh, catch up with you again tomorrow and see what the situation is like for Robert Changulani and the political heat going on in Kampala. Thank you very much.